good morning to all welcome to bosco campus vision and you are watching bosco campus vision the youtube channel of don bosco college kutia this is asha sp assistant professor pg department of commerce don bosco college kutia so let's begin with my class in the last class we have discussed about the rate of tax which is applicable for individuals under three categories and today we are going to deal with two important terms in income tax act that is one is average rate of tax and the second one is that maximum marginal rate so the first term is average rate of tax appo nammala basic terms of income tax nammala last class la ellam explain cheyidarunu so endukonde average rate of tax um maximum marginal rate um avada explain cheyidilla ennu vichal നമുക്ക് ഇത് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ടാക്സ് അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കണം സോ അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഞാൻ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽസിന് അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്ത റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ടാക്സ് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം ഈ രണ്ട് ടേംസ് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്യുന്നത് സോ ദ ഫേസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് ആവറേജ് റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ടാക്സ് വിച്ച് എസ് ഡിഫൈൻ അണ്ടർ സെക്ഷൻ ടു സബ് സെക്ഷൻ ടെൻ ഓഫ് ദി ഇൻകം ടാക്സ് ആക്ട് ഓഫ് നയൻറ്റീൻ സിക്സ്റ്റി വൺ സോ ആവറേജ് റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ടാക്സ് as the name indicates average rate of tax is obtained by dividing the tax liability the amount of tax liability with the amount of total income that means nammal etrayano total tax amount kodukkunnathu aa particular amount ini etra total income aanu namu kondavunnathu adhe or individual undaagunnathu adinde base ilana nammal average rate of tax kandupidikkunnathu as we all know that the rate of tax are applicable to individuals are up to rupees 250000 nil between 250000 to 5 lakh it is uh, 5% and between uh, 5 lakh to 10 lakh it is 20% and above 10 lakh it is 30% so ivide let's look into an example of rupees 12000 okay nammal for example ivide an individual ne 12000 rupees in the total income owned in gil total income is 12000 let us look into how much tax is payable by him to the uh, government so let us illustrate this example so here namma slide le kaanuna pole total income 12000 aanu so namma padichathu pole up to rupees 250000 nil between 250000 to 5 lakh so avada 250000 thottu appo aadithe 250000 ine ayal endu adakkanda tax adakkanda okay so next one is 250000 to 5 lakh ee 250000 thottu 5 lakh rupees vare etra rupayada income undu ayaku of course it is 250000 alle 250000 thottu 5 lakh vare so at the rate of 5% is that is 12500 okay so clear then uh between 5 lakh to 10 lakh it is 5 lakh rupees of income 5 lakh to 10 lakh vare okay 5 lakh to 10 lakh vare nammal rendamatha case il parnu 250000 to 5 lakh vare 250000 rupees in income und 5 lakh to 10 lakh vare 5 lakh rupees in income und so 5 lakh rupees appo nammal ivadha total amount of income etrana 12 lakh okay so that means at 10 lakh il koodal income und okay appo namukku this slab la apply cheyyam so 5 lakh to 10 lakh il 5000 5 lakh of income und so 5 lakh inde 20% that is rupees uh, 1 lakh okay so the next one is above 10 lakh okay appo ivada baaki etra rupees und rupees 2 lakhs okay so in 2 lakhs ine how much rate of tax 30% so 2 lakh inde 30% is 60000 so the total amount of taxes 12 12500 plus 1 lakh plus 6 lakh okay that means that is 1 lakh 72500 the total amount of tax payable by him to the tax authorities idinde kooda rendu moonu points kooda undu adu yan explain cheya so just look into what is average rate of tax okay so then what is his total income 12 lakh okay so so the average rate of tax is equal to total tax liability divided by total income 
here the total tax liability is 172500 divided by 12 lakh that is 14.375 percentage okay that is the that is 14.375 percentage so that is the average rate of tax which is applicable to an individual having a total income of 12 lakh okay now we would have what is the purpose of computing average rate of tax that's a question let nammal endu padichalu porade anga kaana paana padikirathu why why eppadi nammal mansil oru chodyam undayikana adu endu kondu okay so ivide i am asking the question why why we are finding out average rate of tax so here the question is The answer is, नमक 5 lakh तो 5 lakh इनका ऑन्डर के लिए यानि 20 परसेंट जी टैक्स आ रही है ना, 10 lakh इनका ऑन्डर के लिए यानि 3 परसेंट जी टैक्स आ रही है ना मात्रा आ रही है, okay, all around an average इतने परसेंट जी नमले गवर्नमेंट ने टैक्स आ रही है ना ना रहते हैं, so अदर ने एंडी डाना average rate of tax इन द बारे में डामा इनकम टैक्स एक्सप्लेन्स which is defined under section 2 subsection 29c of the income tax act of 1961 so what is maximum marginal rate so max the term maximum marginal rate means the highest rate of tax which is applicable to the highest slab of income once again i am repeating this the highest rate of tax which is applicable to the highest slab of income so here the highest number of individuals in the uh, tax rate parna po what is the highest rate of tax applicable to individuals it is to uh, 5 20 and 30 percentage so of course it is 30 percentage okay which is applicable to the highest slab of income about the highest slab of income nu parnathu nam last slab For two lakh fifty thousand, next lakh two lakh fifty thousand to five lakh, and the next one is five lakh to ten lakh, and the last lakh is about ten lakh. So, apa about ten lakh ina na? E thirty percent is applicable lai to alada. So, apa e thirty percent is yana ana namma lantanu lagi the maximum marginal rate. Okay. So, idin the kuda namma le rend item kuda addi. First one is surcharge. The second one is education says, which is one of the most important terms in income tax act of 1961 so the first one is surcharge appo ee rendu kuda nammal add cheyina rendu terms aanu allekal rendu items aanu surcharge and education says so we are adding surcharge so what do you mean by surcharge it is the additional rate of tax which is applicable for those who are paying tax or we can say that it is a tax on tax okay so <clears throat> टोटल इनकम एत्रो अेस नाइनवीजी इतमेंटेज <coughs> एजुकेशन से So education says, sir, number of taxpayers, sir, income taxpayers, sir, number of education system financing, I am indi, number of you contribution government ne bolu kono. It is a contribution made by the taxpayers for financing both uh, both the primary education system as well as secondary and higher education system in our country. And the rate of education says is 
4% health and education is the number of health and education is the rate of 4% okay so this 4 percentage is normally 30 percentage plus 15 percentage plus 4 percentage. So, it's three on a number in the maximum marginal. That's 30 percentage, 30 percentage, 13 percentage, 15, 15 percentage. I'm 30 percentage in the 15 percentage. Contribute other 30 percentage in the idea plus. That is the total is 35.88 percentage is the maximum marginal rate. Okay. About these two terms, both the average rate of tax and the maximum marginal rate. These two terms, manchalai language, wish So thank you all, thank you all viewers.